somebody asked me, um, what's your favorite piece? And I think he expected me to say Coney Island. And I said, my favorite piece is what I'm working on now or what I'm thinking of next. And the next piece is going to be much better than anything I've ever done before. And it, and it always seems to work out that way, you know. I love history. I love, I love religion. I love, um, I love storytelling. And to me, history and religion, that's all about stories, you know. I love that, you know, that narrative. The Second World War is my war, you know. The only time I ever felt safe, I'm not talking about being happy, I'm talking about feeling safe, was when I was doing my artwork. The Germans didn't bother me, my father didn't bother me, they couldn't get into that um, inner world. This sculpture is called The Execution of Private Slovik. But I developed the idea of the, the, the wire with little cutout, you know, with the, the flames and stuff like that. It looks so simple, but it's sort of like when you're looking at the circus and you see a, an acrobat, it looks so simple, but it took years for me to figure out how to make that, you know? And, and I just loved the idea of working with little toy soldiers. I guess it reminds me of my early childhood. Um, I had very few toys during the war. I mean, they're all li li little plastic soldiers. They probably cost like a dollar for a bag of them. And I worked on all of them and changed them and modified them, and I, I just loved doing that. I, I think I'm at my most successful when I'm doing my artwork, when I'm actually almost transforming myself back into a child. I think it was St. Paul that said, you know, something about growing up and being a man and putting away the toys of a child, and I'm thinking, that never happened with me. I don't think St. Paul would like me, but anyway. <laughs> It's amazing, the unconscious, how many things that you um, forget. That just for a blip of a second you get, oh, right, and then it's gone.